everybody and welcome back to more Reading Time with Miss Nan. Today, where am I? I am in my bedroom, but what am I sitting in? Is this a cardboard box? Look, I can hide in it. Can you see me now? How awesome is this? We have a box because someone got a chair delivered. So, I have a really big box. If you have a really big box at home, maybe you can go and sit in it. And read a story in your box. It's actually very comfortable. It fits my shoulders nice. Gives a little wiggle. And then afterwards, maybe I will decorate it with all my favourite stories. Or maybe some beautiful fairies. Or maybe a teddy bear. I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to see and find out later what I do. Anyway, today I'm going to read a book. Now, this is the only place in the house I could find to read it. Because the rest of the house is really busy tonight. So I have chosen to read this book. Five minutes peace. Because, guess what everybody? I just wanted five minutes to read you a story, but I couldn't find a quiet place in my house. So today I'm going to read this story to you. Now it's one by Jill Murphy and she has written lots of these books about the large family, which are the elephant family, and they are totally awesome. So if you enjoy this book, I suggest you go and read the other large family books because they're awesome. Right, five minutes sleep. Here we go. The children were having breakfast. This was not a pleasant sight. Oh, look how much mess they're making. I wonder who'll be clearing that up. I don't think it's going to be the baby elephant, sadly. Mrs Large took a tray from the cupboard. She set it with a teapot, a milk jug, her favourite cup and saucer, a plate of marmalade toast and a leftover cake from yesterday. She stuffed the morning paper into her pocket and sneaked off towards the door. Where do you think she's going? Where are you going with that tray, Mum? asked Laura. To the bathroom, said Mrs Large. Why? asked the other two children. Because I want five minutes peace from you lot, said Mrs Large. That's why. Does your mummy ever do that? Does she ever sneak off and hide in the bathroom? Can we come? asked Lester as they trailed up the stairs behind her. No, said Mrs Large. You can't. What shall we do then? asked Laura. You can play, said Mrs Large downstairs by yourself and keep an eye on the baby i'm not a baby muttered the little one mrs large ran a deep hot bath she emptied half a bottle of bath foam into the water plonked on her bath hat and got in she poured herself a cup of tea and laid back with her eyes closed it was heaven. Oh, I love a bubble bath. Do you enjoy having a bubble bath? It's very relaxing, isn't it? I think it's not going to be relaxing for long, though. Can I play you my tune? asked Lester. Mrs Large opened one eye. Must you? she asked. I've been practising, said Lester. You told me to. Can I, please, just for one minute... Go on then, sighed Mrs Large. So Lester played. He played, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Three and a half times. Look at her face. She doesn't look that impressed, does she? In came Laura. Can I read you a page from my reading book? She asked. No, Laura, said Mrs Large. Go on, all of you, off downstairs. You let Lester play his tune, said Laura. I heard you like him better than me. It's not fair. Oh, don't be silly, Laura, said Mrs Large. Go on then, just one page. So Laura read. She read four and a half pages of Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, look, she's sinking deeper and deeper into that bathtub. In came the little one with a tr trunk full of toys. For you, he beamed, flinging them all into the bath water. 
Thank you, dear, said Mrs. Large weakly. Oh, I don't think she wanted that, did she? Look, he thinks he's just being kind and sharing his toys. But I don't think she thinks the same. Can I see the cartoons in the paper? Asked Laura. Can I have the cake? Asked Lester. Can I get in with you? Asked little one. Mrs. Large groaned. In the end, they all got in. The little one was in such a hurry that he forgot to take off his pyjamas. Mrs. Large got out. She dried herself, put on her dressing gown and headed for the door. Where are you going now, Mum? asked Laura. To the kitchen, said Mrs. Large. Why? asked Lester. Because I want five minutes' peace from you lot, said Mrs. Large. That's why. Oh, look at her angry face. She does not look happy. Show me your best angry faces. <gasps> Maybe they're annoyed faces. <sighs> she does want a bit of peace and quiet. And off she went downstairs, where she had three minutes and 45 seconds of peace before they all came to join her. Oh. Here they come, trumping down the stairs. Poor Mrs Large. Maybe if your mummy or daddy, or your auntie or your uncle, or whoever lives with you, if they would like a little bit of peace and quiet, maybe... You can give it to them and see if you can find something else to do with your time instead of bothering them. Poor Mrs Large. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story from the Large family. Five minutes peace. And why don't you now go and have five minutes peace all by yourself. Have a lovely week, everybody. And I will see you next week for more Reading Time with Miss Nun. Bye-bye. <laughs>